Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. So I'm back with another video, and I know it's been a while, so please forgive me. But I'm back with another video, and today I want to talk about spring cleaning. So recently, a friend walked up on me at work and asked me, he said, he was like, yo, you ain't been on the tube, where you been, what's what going on, you all right, you cool? All right. We couldn't talk at work because um, I feel like that he felt like... Maybe the person that was beside me was kind of scolding him. And I really wasn't trying to, like, uh, put all my business out in front of that person. So I really wasn't trying to answer him because that person don't necessarily know what's going on with me. But just for clarification, being that person just was talking at work, we're not together. So don't think that he was, I don't know if he was looking at you no type of way or nothing. Like... You just walked up in the middle of our conversation and uh, it kind of got awkward because you walked up in the middle of our conversation so I had to talk to him and then talk to you. But anyway, so today I want to talk about spring cleaning and honestly, that's what I have been doing. When it comes to spring cleaning, spring cleaning is not something that should only be done in the springtime. Spring cleaning is something that should be done throughout the year, any time of the year. Spring cleaning, for me, spring cleaning means to out with the old and in with the new. You know, when you clean up, when majority of the time, when you start to clean up, they say you're making room for new things, which is true. You know, when you take the trash out, you're taking the trash down the yard, you're emptying the trash can to put more trash in. You're taking the old trash down to create new trash. Spring cleaning, it works the same way, except... It works in different ways. Like, for me, it's more so about cleaning my mind and my energy right now. Um, I'm real heavy on moving, so that's all I'm focused on. Like, side note, I don't know, but I have a one-track mind. So, when it comes to me, like, I have, when I'm focused on something, that's all I focus on. Like, I've been supposed to be exercising. Like, I started talking about exercising on my channel, and I haven't did it yet. Well, I haven't done it. Like, I've been exercising, but because I'm so focused on moving, um, I, I haven't been exercising. Like, a serious one-track mind, like, I haven't really been smoking like that, and I haven't been um, eating like that because my, my mind is set on moving. Recently, I have been doing a lot of cleaning because I want to move. And that's not mental cleaning. That's actual physically cleaning. Like, I donated some of my old clothes, even though they had holes in them. Like, I donated some of my clothes. Um, I'm about to donate this air bed that I have, that I've been using. Um, <clears throat> and when I say donate, I'm just taking it to the Goodwill. They can do whatever they want. Like, I'm not comfortable with just up and throwing stuff away and that's something else that comes with spring cleaning like you have to be comfortable with letting things go you have no matter if it's real fake materialistic an illusion or what like you have to be comfortable with letting go to move forward that's what spring cleaning means to me like Sometimes those old thoughts got to be gone in order to make room for new thoughts. You know, you can't always be stuck on the past when you're trying to move forward and be stuck on something new. You know, like, for instance, I didn't want to say nothing, but I just recently got a new car. And when I got my car, it was like, it was a shock because I didn't expect to get it. You know, well, I didn't expect to get what I got. I was expecting something. I knew I was going to get something, but I didn't expect to get what I got. And I believe I got what I got because of me cleaning. Like, I had to get focused. You know, like, life throws you curveballs all the time. Life, life th like, you think you're going one way and <laughs> you ready to, to hit a home run, but the pitcher hit it and you strike out. I mean, the pitcher throw it and you strike out. You know, like, that's the type of cycle that I'm sort of breaking myself out of. And by making these videos, it's helping me. I guess I need to start making more videos because that's going to be that's gonna be a way of me mentally cleaning. Like, for me, and I'm saying I'm realizing this as I make this video, like, I, I'm going to have to start speaking more. Instead of holding it in, like... In the past, I used to use Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and you know, you didn't, you don't, 
because you are you, because you are the person that you are, you don't get the attention that you think you get, you want, you know? And then when you start branching out to do your own thing, you know, you still don't get that attention because people start to feel threatened. And when people start to feel threatened, you know, they start to talk down on you. And for me, I feed off of energy, you know? So for me, I have to... Uh, shut myself off from the world and that's sort of kind of what I'm doing like that's sort of kind of one reason I, I started exercising to stay focused on myself but like it's like now I'm ready to take that next step that I'm not going to continue nothing until I get there and it sucks that I'm like that but I don't know it's like I've been in bad situations a lot. I've been there for people that haven't been there for me. Like, I've always spoken up for people. And I don't always speak up in the right way, you know. But it's like, when when you try to make a difference and you get stopped, what are you supposed to do? As far as spring cleaning, like... When I got my car, I started to clean out my old car. Like, I used to, I, I, at the time, I needed oil change, but anyway. <laughs> like, I started to clean out my car. When I say I started to clean out my car, like, all the paper I had thrown everywhere in my floor, like, the ads, because don't nobody ride with me. Who knows me out here? Don't nobody get in my car. And when they do, all that shit in the floor in the back. Anyway, but anyway. So, I cleaned up all the ads in my car. I cleaned up, you know, all the papers. Um... The only thing I didn't do was vacuum. Like, and don't get me wrong, when I got my new car, I still had other things to take out, but not as much. You know, not as much as if I didn't clean up my car. And I feel like that's that's one thing that helped me because by me taking the time to actually take care of my car, you know, it sort of kind of helped me get a new one. Not really because I did something else to help me get my car, but at the end of the day, that's what we started doing. That's how I started. Now, I've been gra over the last past month, I've been gradually uh, donating things to the Goodwill. Why? Because I seriously want to move. Like, And I know that when I move, I'm moving on my own. Like, It's just going to be me. The same way I came to Ohio, it's going to be the same way that I moved to Texas just me the only difference is i'll have my own money this time so i'll be able to afford myself as in in the past i was running away from something you know and now i don't necessarily have nothing to run away from but i do have something i need to run away to you know and so in order for me to get there i have to i had to start somewhere you know i had to start somewhere like i wanted to be in texas in january but like i said life happens and i couldn't get there so instead of me getting depressed and upset i started working out now granted the program that i downloaded to work out to i did not fully complete it but by me doing the exercises and the things that i did do it it's helped me out a lot. Like, I have lost... I don't know how much weight I've lost because I'm not stepping on a scale. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. Not until I get down. Not until I lose my stomach. Like, that's my goal. Um, the exercise I've, I've done, it helped me with my balance. You know, it helped with my, my joints. Like, it, yes, I said my joints because as a big person, you know, you, you, you have more weight on you. And you try not to... Well, me. You try not to do as much... <laughs> Because, you know, you don't want your fat falling everywhere. And I'm speaking for me. You know, I can't speak for nobody else. But by me, by the little bit of exercises, because I completed up to 10 weeks of that program. I was supposed to do 12, but it was winter time, so I couldn't go outside. I couldn't go running, and I could barely jump around in my house because of how my house is built. Like, and again, I don't have furniture, so by me jumping around, it just sounds like I'm falling all over the place. So I couldn't really do the extra, the program fully because of it being winter, and it, it fucking snowed for my birthday, but that's okay. I'm not upset because that was a time that I needed. I wanted to go home for my birthday, but I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't get to go home because I needed that time to be alone. I needed that time to 
fully decide what I wanted to do with my life. And during that week, I started investing. Now, again, I um, haven't been keeping up with it. Why? Because my main goal is moving. So I know that once I move, I know that once I get to Texas, no matter my location, that's, I, I have somewhere to pick up from. It's not like me moving from Virginia to Ohio where I just left everything and ran. Like now I actually have to be careful as to what I take and what I don't take. If I take too much, where am I going to put it? If I don't take enough, that's okay with me because I plan on buying more. So it's all about taking the time to to find continue to find myself really like I still have situations to deal with with my family and you know when you out here on your own and you don't you have you know minimum support Um, I don't have friends in Ohio. I had associates. You know, I had people that I <clears throat> tried to connect with, but those people, if you understand it, was not my soul tribe. And those people only turned out to be sort of kind of like the past. Me just trying to fit in just to have something to do. You know, me trying to... Uh, not necessarily please somebody because I was more so trying to please myself. Like, when I met her, I was thankful. You know, I met my friend online, and I was real thankful about it. But, like they say, you see tr people true colors, and she could say the same thing about me. Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect. Like, I, I did everything right, but it's just me and people don't get along. So, it's time for me to move forward. And I feel like I was going to wait it out another 30 days, but I said I can't. Like, if I continue to wait, it's not going to do nothing but hold me here. I can't be stuck. If I'm trying to, so I, I, that's spring cleaning. Like, you weeding out who to deal with and who not to deal with. Like, the person at work uh, that was standing up beside me, you know, you got to know when to deal with that person and when not to deal with that person. And I'm not saying nothing bad against nobody. It's just... I know it's time for me to once again shut myself down and move forward. And that's all I've been doing. Like, this one track mind is, is something serious for me because every time I get sidetracked or, or fall off, it's always because of one thing. And it's like, until that one thing happens, nothing else matters. Like, nothing else is, is going to go on. Like... I, I slowed down on smoking, so I've been saving my money. Um, I haven't been eating out as much because I haven't been eating. So, again, I'm saving money. Um, why? Because I'm trying to move. Like, granted, I didn't got in trouble. You know, I didn't have to pay a ticket, you know, recently. So, I don't have as much, but that just goes to show you, like, if you're not careful at what you're doing, you're not going to be able to survive. I guess like if you if you if you if you out here playing, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get played. But when you out here serious, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get the lessons. You're gonna get the the hard times. But you're gonna you're gonna move forward. If you really wanna move forward, you're gonna know how to move forward. Like there's someone else I know, and I appreciate him. And we gonna leave it at that. Like I understand, and I'm I'm understanding. I can't push myself on people. I can't keep pushing myself on people. So. That's the purpose of me sort of kind of having the video so that I can get out what I need to get out. Like, right now, my main goal is moving forward. My main goal is out with the old and in with the new. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of going through the old cycle. So I'm trying to advance my mind so that way when I get to the next step, I already know, I already have my survival tips from the previous situations, whatever, to move forward. It's just, I had to realize who to let go, what to let go, how to let it go, when to let it go. Like, that door in 2022, when that door closed, it might not have closed all the way, but that bitch was full. Trust me. 
I felt it, okay? Like, right now, there's a big energy shift that I'm going through, and I feel it, and it's all because I need to move. I have put in my transfer request. I was going to wait, but I'm not, because if I wait, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to put in my transfer request. I just hope they approve it so that I'm, I can move by May. If I, I know June will be the latest, but it's just time to go, and... It's not playtime. Like it, it's been past playtime, but I can't even say nothing slipping me by because I'm, I'm making my moves. Like I'm a procrastinator, yes, but when it's time to get down and dirty, I'm gonna get down and dirty. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> don't, don't. I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get there. And right now, it's just basically move, moving forward with plans that I should have been done. In January, January, I wanted to be all of this. When my lease was up, I wanted to be gone, but I couldn't. I couldn't, and maybe it's a good thing that I couldn't go. You know, maybe it's a blessing that I didn't get there in January. But now I know that once I get there, I have, it's gonna be beautiful. I can feel it. I can't wait. Like, I'm going to try to do a, a a road trip video because I don't I think I'm going to go home first. I'm going to go to VA once I figure out, once they accept it, because I have faith that I'm going. So once they accept it and I figure out a date that I'll be gone, I'm going to take, you know, a couple of days off of work so I can travel. And I'm going to go to VA, and then from VA, I'm going to Texas. So I have to clean up, and that's what I've been doing. Like, I got dishes I got to go through. I'm going through clothes. Like, I'm going through papers. I'm going through books. Like, I have a lot of stuff to, to, to throw away. And it's, the sad part is I don't, I don't have people that I can give the stuff to. So I, all I can do is... Donate the stuff to the Goodwill or a thrift store and pray that they do what's best. Like, I don't, I wish, like, I got a, a, a perfectly good microwave in here that has to go somewhere. You know, I barely have a microwave a year. But I'm not upset. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna work out. It is. It's gonna work out. <coughs> I just gotta have faith, but that's what I've been doing. I've been, like I told you, or I told him, I couldn't get the words out because I didn't know what to say, but spring cleaning, sometimes you gotta go, you gotta clean from within in order to clean on the outside. Like, and that's basically the transformation that I'm going through. It's the internal cleaning to clean the outside because I don't like to throw stuff away. <laughs> I don't say I have a letting go problem because I pick. I'm picky. I'm a picky in every. I'm a picky person in every situation. Don't get me wrong. I'm a pick and choose what I hold on to, and I'm a pick and choose what I let go. No matter the situation. So that's what I've been doing. Taking the time to spring clean within. Like I haven't even burned sage in a while. Like my crystals. One of my crystals just broke recently. I had my crystals for three, two, two years. Yeah, two years. Almost two years. No, it's been about two years. Yeah, I had my crystals for two years, and one of them just recently broke. And when I looked it up, they said maybe uh that it need a break. Okay. So, I got to give my crystals a break. You know, it's time for my crystals to do some spring cleaning. Like, I even tried to change, you know, the crystals that I wear, but those are starting to crack and stuff, too, so... I'm not as off balance as I may have thought I was, but I don't like cleaning. But when you when it's time to do, you gotta do. You know, like when it's time to make that move, you gotta make that move. So I'm about to make that move. That's what I'm doing. I'm making moves, baby. That's what I've been hiding. Like I I've been to the basketball court. Like I hope when I move to Texas that they they got an outside park or. Like a basketball court, like I, I really plan, I really hope I meet somebody that plays basketball because I want to start recording myself, you know, for my exercises to show you guys like what I really be doing when I don't be on here. Like I, 
I do be working out. You know, well, I've been playing basketball, but see, this fucked up ass weather. It didn't fucking snowed uh yesterday. I don't know, a couple of days ago, and it's been raining, and it's been. That's why I want to leave, cause I it's time for me to go. It's time. It's been raining too much. The police been out, and I ain't got nothing against the police. But like I said, when it's time, I know when it's time for me to go. <laughs> I know when it's time for me to go, and it's time for me to go. And if I stay here, it's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get worse. Like I don't need nobody coming back, trying to catch up with me. Like I don't need. I feel like somebody know where I live. That don't need to know where I live. So that's another reason why I'm kind of anxious on moving. But I ain't scared. I ain't, I ain't even gonna sit here and lie. I'm not scared. I just don't need everybody knowing where I live. And plus, I don't need the wrong person to know where I live. Like I did have Virginia tags at one point. I was the only person or couple of people, only one or two people driving around Ohio with Virginia tags. Now, all of a sudden, everybody from Virginia and Ohio. So, uh, it's time to get. Um, I don't know if I've been talking about it too much, but it's time to go. Because you see I'm here and there, but now I'm saying four or five at a time. I can't do that. Mm -mm. Even if you just riding through. <laughs> I can't. It's time to go. I'd rather see you in Texas where it don't matter because you're going home anyway. But I'm going to stay, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> so, spring cleaning. Out with the old and with the new. Somebody need to do it because I had to.